A major Austin high-tech employer could bring a thousand new jobs to town. National Instruments may expand its research and development capacity and build onto its existing facility in North Austin. KXN's Robert Maxwell has more on what the announcement means to local engineering students who want to get in on that action. The ghost lettering along the back of the helmet is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. These Austin Community College students at the Northridge campus have one eye on this, a YouTube video showing a 3D computer-aided design model. The other eye is up the road on National Instruments. I've got hope now. I'm a little, little older than most of the people in here. 56-year-old Mark Howell's banking on research-driven high-tech companies like NI will be looking to hire people like him with a portfolio full of new engineering design skills. And, you know, one of the good things is that I've heard and seen, actually, is that a lot of the uh, people who've graduated here and gone out into the work field are actually coming back and looking for recruits. The timing might be just right. National Instruments wants to expand beyond the 2,400 staff who work at this mammoth campus in North Austin. The Texas Enterprise Fund has committed $4.4 million for what's anticipated to be an $80 million capital investment. If the current plan goes through, a 300,000 square foot R&D facility would rise on eight and a half acres adjacent to the current campus. Austin is competing with Penang, Malaysia for the project. That's added incentive for professors who haven't seen large job numbers since the the first wave of semiconductor development more than a dozen years ago. It's good to see a big hire happening again that's also a high-tech hire and uh, I think ACC is pretty well positioned for that because of all the technology we're offering now. And along with the Texas Enterprise Fund commitment, the city of Austin is offering National Instruments a $1.7 million incentive. It'll come in the form of a property tax grant over a decade. And city package is up for public comment, by the way, and a public hearing is planned downtown March 7th. Back to you. Robert, thanks. Now looking closer at National Instruments, Dr. James Trichard founded the company in his Austin garage back in 1976. The company had three employees back then, and now it has more than 6,100 total. National Instruments has made Fortune Magazine's list of 100 best companies to work for for 14 straight years. And as part of the push to grow potential employees here locally, we told you how uh, the co-founder, uh, tr founder Trashar, donated $10 million last month to the Cockrell School to develop an engineering and education and research center at the University of Texas. Well, the center houses floor space for students to design and build everything from solar-powered cars to satellites and robots. National Instruments, also one of several local high-tech firms, sending volunteers into local classrooms to get students excited about science, technology, Technology, engineering and math. We recently showed you how classes at AISD campuses like, like Aikens High School and Maynard UTech, off, uh, they offer robo robotics courses to get the teenagers and the young adults interested in the engineering field.